This definitely was a lot less cluttered than it was before. I'm working on something so incredible. And can you guess what it is? Hi hotties, welcome to another vlog. I've been loving just filming vlogs lately, so yeah, here we are. My hair was a bit greasy, so I put it in a really cute bun. I don't know if you can see, but there's twisties on it, and I'm kind of loving it. It was really easy to do, actually. You basically just put your hair in a ponytail, then you take mini sections and twist it, and then bobby pin each section till you make a nice little bun. Anyways, this is gonna be a really fun couple of days, so I'm so excited to take you guys along. I have something really exciting to show you, too. Look at her, oh my gosh. This was actually a DIY project. Martin and I have been doing and we've been kind of putting it off for five months But we finished this in two days and isn't it so sexy. Oh my gosh This is actually not our first tile DIY. We have our nightstand over here. Oh my gosh ignore that We will clean that later, but we have this one that we actually make completely from scratch I did film a little bit of us doing the little dining table as you can see before the table was dinged up We actually found it in my parents garage. They were going to throw it away But we thought it was the perfect base for our little project. It's actually not too hard to do. It's just pretty time consuming and a little tedious, but I think the end result is so worth it. And it looked really funky with white table legs. So we actually switched those out with some black ones. It's literally so perfect. It's sexy, yeah. like it's just sexy. I love how it matches here. Wow. I think the black matches so well with the chairs and also just the whole color scheme of our kitchen. I already said it took us five months to actually get our asses up and do this little project. And the thing that pushed us over the edge to do it now is because we're actually hosting a little casual dinner party tonight and we wanted our space to look really nice for it. We've had like people over, but we've never actually hosted something before. So I'm a little bit nervous. I'm more so excited because I know my friends are going to be super nice and it's going to be super fun anyway. But yeah, this this is our new little baby. <laughs> it is so cloudy and gloomy today. This is today's little work from home outfit and everything is actually from the sponsor of this video, ThreadUp. If you didn't know, ThreadUp is an online thrift and consignment store. The biggest thing I like about it is because you can sort through brands and your sizes. I feel like sometimes when I'm thrifting in real life, I can easily get overwhelmed with all of the things that are out there. So when I can sort with my size and if there's a specific brand that I wanna look out for, it's really easy to do that on ThreadUp. ThreadUp has a new and really cool feature where if you click the link in my description, you can see what items I ordered and they'll show you similar items. And I think it would just be a really easy way to get some more outfit inspiration. This top from Free People had an estimated retail price of $32 and on ThreadUp it was $16.99. And the pants I'm wearing are from Abercrombie & Fitch with an estimated retail price of $51 and on ThreadUp I got it for $19.99. I also got this really cute outfit. I'm in love with the kind of sporty look of this members only jacket and this IMG skirt oh my gosh imagine this paired with some thigh-high black socks yes let me be delusional and say that this is something Bella Hadid would wear maybe similar <laughs> I know that this is a complete 180 from the other outfits but oh my gosh can we get a little commotion for the dress but I also feel like that's the charm of thrifting right you never know what you're gonna find I feel like this would be perfect for a little date I love the rib detailing right here it's the perfect length I love the color and the fit is super flattering and forgiving so yeah thank you so much that up for sponsoring today's video shop my pics with the link below and use my code Jasmine for an extra 35% off your first order which is insane. Oh my gosh, it's raining. The glasses are coming on, which means it's time to work, babes. working for a bit and oh my gosh this is kind of random but guess what I'm about to buy rave tickets y'all <laughs> I have been to two raves in my entire life and one of them was actually countdown which was the beginning of this year and it was so fun I was really surprised I didn't know if it really be my scene I just love dressing up I don't know I'm just so excited so I'm buying me and Martin tickets right now let's do it hey we're gonna be rave babes <laughs> All 
Our guests are coming over in about an hour, so I still have to tidy up and clean the place. And the first thing I'm gonna do is dishes. I know this is just part of adulting, but tell me why I gotta do the dishes every day. So you're telling me we gotta eat every day, try to figure that out and have to spend money. And then when we do cook at home, we have so many dishes and it's always piling up. I don't even know where all these dishes come from. And then we gotta wash them every day. Like, come on, I'm not built for this. <laughs> I'm just joking, guys. I'm like so grateful for the life that I live, but oh, just like, Dishes, I just <laughs> One of our friends are here, so I'm gonna go down and get her. Quick little bun check. Is that, does it look good? I think it looks good, right? Oh. <laughs> Last night's little dinner party was so fun. I had such a great time. As you know, I was a little bit scared of just like being a bad host. I don't know, I don't know what I was scared of. It was just honestly so nice to have people in our home enjoy good food and you know, talk. Those are friends from college and I feel like we just had so much to catch up on because now we're adults, like we're actually adults, y'all. <laughs> I woke up a little late today, it's around 10.30, but I just took a shower and right now I'm re-watching Pretty little liars and oh my god i forgot how fucking messy this show is the things they do the things they say are so out of pocket and it's very entertaining i was watching it last night too before bed and i think suki really likes the show too but today is just going to be another stay at home day and just doing and catching up on work i feel like yesterday i wasn't really in the mindset i was more so just excited for the dinner party Oh my gosh, I remember I used to think they dressed so cool too, but looking at it now, questionable. Fun fact, I used to actually hate sourdough bread for some reason. Like, I just really, really hated it. I don't know what changed. I'm a sourdough stan. Like, this is my shit. <laughs> I've actually been eating a lot more apples lately, too. I don't know why I'm just talking about food right now. I put my apples in the fridge, and then when you cut them and you eat them, and it's, like, crunchy and cold and refreshing, it tastes so good, y'all. Okay, enough of that. Let's get to work. apartment is still a work in progress but i have some updates to show you so this is how we're decorating the coffee table now i added some faux baby's breath because i know the real one is like pretty toxic for cats i have a couple candles some jewelry and then this is where we keep our remotes it's a little box this definitely was a lot less cluttered than it was before and i just like i'm so in love with the baby's breath i think it adds so much texture and i like the different levels that is going on here i don't know but we just ordered a new coffee table because at first i really really loved the glass i love the look but it gets 
so dirty. You can't really tell on camera, but the amount of times I had to clean it, and then even when I do clean it, there's still streaks, and it's just, it's just too much. And I feel like, I don't know, I'm just like not really into this look anymore. The coffee table just shipped today, so hopefully it comes soon. And I remember in another vlog, I told you guys that I was having like a really hard time decorating this wire rack, and this is what we came up with for now. A little Lego Porsche that Martin built, and then some K-pop albums, and just some random stuff. I don't know, I'm just not really still in love with it. But I think it's definitely an improvement of what it was before sometimes I do feel frustrated Like sometimes I wish that everything was perfect and everything like that But I also think there's a beauty in everything being a work in progress and just being able to add little things Because we're always changing and I just really like our space reflecting that this is what our couch looks like And we actually just bought some new couch covers and a darker color kind of like dark gray black I love the look of dark couches, but it's this little menace. I'm like is your hair gonna be everywhere? I guess worst case scenario we could just change it back to that other tan color. I don't know Let's just try to embrace a change and then just see how it goes because I think you can see right there that there's black black right here black on the rug our kitchen is black. Like, I feel like it could really make this space feel a bit more moody and calm. I don't know. I don't know. I've been trying to romanticize my life a little bit more, even when it's just with super, super little things. Everyone knows that I'm a major homebody. I'm never go, 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 you know. Most of my days, I look like this. I look like a bum. Like, I don't have makeup on. You know, like, I'm wearing, like, a big t-shirt. So it's really easy for me to, when I look like a bum, it, like, affects my mental state. So a little thing that I've been doing is just being perfume on my when I need a little pick-me-up. I'm thinking this one today. I feel like it's a sense of aromatherapy, right? I think for me, it's just kind of like, I smell delicious. Wait, I am delicious. It just makes me feel a teensy bit more put together. But I totally understand if you're like, Jasmine, these perfumes cost a lot of money. I totally get that. Even just getting a room spray or a nice new candle or wax smell, something like that. I don't know. I feel like smells really help me a lot. But for me, when I spray perfume, I'm like, I'm the one that smells good, like, okay. <laughs> but I also wanted to thank you, hotties, for giving me a job where I could even dress like a bum like this. Like, it's really nice sometimes, but sometimes it gets a little bit too much. And maybe that's my issue. Maybe I should buy some better stay-at-home working outfits. But this is it most of the time. <laughs> I feel like shit today. I was not productive. I felt like I was just sitting on this couch all day. Like, I was just so, I felt so bloated and so hungry. And guess what? I just checked my little period app, and I'm about to start. So, yeah, that's that's why. Martin's getting home from work right now and I asked him to pick up some burgers. So I'm about to order for him to pick up and we want to start a new drama tonight and I was reading the description of this and some reviews and I think that this is the one for tonight. The only thing is that the reviews say that it's very heartbreaking and emotional at times <laughs> I don't know if that's like the right space where I want to be, especially since I have really heightened emotions right now. But also, I want to feel something. I want to cry. One of my New Year's resolutions was to cry more. And I feel like I've cried more this month than probably like the last six months of last year. So I'm taking that as a win. I am crying, but I think that's really good. I think I'm letting myself actually feel the emotions and not bottle it up all the time. In my last vlog, I mentioned that I was watching What's Wrong with Secretary Kim, and we finally finished that. And I, overall, I really, really like the drama. I just think, okay, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but I think generally with K-dramas, the endings, mm, like, I don't know. Like, it kind of ends really abruptly for a lot of K-dramas that I watch. So, yeah, that's how I feel. Don't let that deter you away from actually watching it, though. The storyline and the actors were amazing but yeah i don't know i think i just feel that kind of like depression after i finish a k-drama because i feel like i just want to live this life with them like i feel so like in the story so maybe that's why i'm sometimes disappointed but yeah I'm gonna start a new one. I'm also going to do some retail therapy because I feel like I am such a California girl and I don't own many jackets at all or even long sleeves and I feel like right now in California at least it's getting really really cold so yeah treating myself because i deserve it i promise tomorrow i will try my best to work as hard as i can but right now i'm just not feeling so great so we're taking a little rest day dinner's here bae is home from work how's work <laughs>
I'm feeling a little eyeshadow look today, so let's see if this works out. So I'm just putting tape down right here since I want it to be like a crisp line. <laughs> This is what I have so far. I'm thinking two little pigtails. This is what my hair looks like. I do look like I'm nine years old. I did inspo from Jenny from Blackpink and I do not look like her, but I tried. I'm really craving a little pick-me-up, so I'm gonna make a little matcha latte. It's one of my favorite things to make, and it's so easy. I know I should be sifting the matcha beforehand, but I don't have a little sifter, and also, it's just another dish to clean, y'all. Like, I just can't do it. So I just go like this. I love using this little whisk. It makes me feel so professional. Like, it's so fun. I saw that you should be whisking, like, side to side like this instead of in circular motions until you get bubbles. So I'm trying to see those bubbles. Not with me stirring it with a chopstick. I have nothing else to stir it with. It's fine. I'm so sorry if this vlog is so boring. I feel like I'm very low energy, especially since I'm about to start my period. I just don't know. My mind, my mind is not working. You know what I think I need right now that I haven't done in a while? A dance party. I'm talking on Tell me why this song was one of my favorite songs when I was like eight. <laughs> Okay, hi. I don't have a shirt on right now because I have my matcha, right? And I usually drink with the straw, but today I was just like, I don't want to drink with the straw. I could totally just sip it out of the cup, but I keep spilling it. And I guess the good thing is that it's like spilling from like my chin, but it's going to my crotch, like on my like pajama pants, which is fine. But I was wearing a white shirt and I just couldn't have that. I'm too lazy to get another one. So yeah. Anyways, right now I'm going to be editing some Instagram photos. Like I was slain so hard. I took these a couple days ago and um, I'm just gonna like change up the colors and everything. But this outfit was a little bit experimental. I don't know if I would actually wear it outside, but I think it looks so fucking sexy for like Instagram and just like posing around your room because it's a little joy just to dress up to go nowhere and just take some Instagram pictures, okay? I have been sitting at my desk for a few hours, but I'm working on something so incredible that I'm very very nervous about and can you guess what it is dun, dun. I'm doing a TED talk guys I'm like so shaky like thinking about it but this is happening look it's all official it's on the TED talk website dun. oh my god that is me that is my name <laughs> I haven't announced it on any of my socials yet because I thought it was supposed to be a little secret, but since it's on the website, I feel like I can tell y'all. I'm gonna be honest, when they first approached me, I was really, really close to saying no because I was just like, what the hell am I gonna talk about in a TED Talk? Like, I don't know, I just felt like I wasn't important enough for that. I love watching TED Talks, by the way. They really, really inspire me. But I knew I would regret it if I said no. So yeah, it's happening, it's happening in March. And I'm speaking at the college that I just graduated from, so I feel like this is a whole big circle moment. They let me have free reign on what I want to talk about and I feel like most of my life is like with influencing or whatever right but the whole point of my talk is identity intersectionality and representation in digital space because I feel like especially as an Asian woman I have a thing or two to say about that and yeah I'm like really excited but mostly nervous but also really excited I don't know it's kind of crazy to actually tell you guys now oh okay wish me luck in two months wait actually one month <gasps> It's February now. Hey, 
dinner ever and I just wanted to end this vlog. Thank you so much to that for sponsoring today's video. Mwah. Remember you can shop my picks with the link down below and use my code Jasmine for an extra 30% off your first order. Thank you so much again for watching today's vlog. I love you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. C'est l'histoire d'une fille pas trop compliquée pour une fois. Cherchant l'impossible, elle trouve à que cette tête une bonne idée.